everyone! Maya here, and today we're going to be talking about Canva versus Adobe Express. So what's the difference? Which one is better? Um, basically, Canva has a lot better, in my opinion, these are my opinions. This is what I've tried. Canva has very clean templates. Adobe Express has very questionable templates for me in terms of like, okay, you know, these look like they were made a little bit for Microsoft Word. Um, you know, just like, it feels very uh, funky, but that's just me. Canva has a very clean design, very, and there's a lot, there's a ton of free, uh, free different templates, like free, uh, you know, tools. But then Adobe Express has a host of free tools that Canva does not have. So let's get into it and let's see which one is a all over, in my opinion, better use, better, better product. Actually, that's not fair. I'll say that I use both. Um, one's better for some things, second one's better for other things. And let's go on. Get, let's get on with it. All right, folks, let's get into it. So over here, we have Adobe Express. Now, Adobe Express is really cool because you have, you know, basically a really nice layout. So here are a couple of really nice options that I like. Um, these are part of the paid plan, uh, mostly. Generative fill is really cool because you can paint in, basically, if you look here, you can paint in the things that you want to um, have in and out of your image. So basically, you can add different parts of the image, different AI things, kind of like a very quick version of Photoshop. Then you have text to image where it's, you know, it's like Dolly or Bing Image Creator Mid Journey. You can describe things, that's Firefly. Really cool, you can make some really cool images. Then we have text to template. I'm personally not a fan of that. Uh, let's take a quick look at the templates. Uh, let's click explore. And uh, yeah, you're gonna see what I mean. I mean, they're pretty fun looking, but they're like, they're, they serve their purpose, but they're not like, they definitely feel to me, they don't feel professional. Um, then we have scheduler. This is an amazing tool and I believe it's free for everybody. Correct me if I'm wrong, but basically you can schedule any post. So you can say you can manage your connections. So you could connect your X, your Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, or you can create a new post. Um, and you can select any of your channels or whatever. So I have my TikTok linked up to here and you can add your captions, your hashtags, and then you're just going to publish it. So it's really an amazing tool. Um, then we have uh, learn, you can learn stuff about, yeah. So Express has some nice stuff. So we're gonna get into the interface in, actually we'll get into the interface right now. Um, so let's get that. Okay, so as you can see over here, we have a pair of shoes. So some of the elements are paid just like Canva and some of the elements are you know free. So basically they have two subscriptions. I have the uh, paid subscription, but yeah, you can find the free assets, of course, the things without the little crown thing over there. Um, so yeah, so I was looking, uh, you know, so let's get into it. So first we have our search bar up here and basically you can just search. So say if I searched shoe, um, basically you can find it all across, you know, design assets, icons. So the things that don't have that little crown there, they're free. Um, so then we have, you know, yeah, templates, videos you can use. Um, so there's, there's a nice variety. A very nice variety when you search then you go to your stuff so you can find folders with your files and with your movie posters in my case uh you can create something I, what i like to do sometimes is i like to create uh, a movie poster and then use it as a template and make copies of it and just replace the image for my other movies if i like what i came across uh so yeah you have this then what we have here is the templates so you can search for the template you need good for when you're in a pinch i suppose but again i'm personally not into the the looks you know like this doesn't have you know if you look over here let's see how do you do this zoom in. <laughs> if you look over here it doesn't have like shadowing on it and like just design things no 3d text which is very flat to me um but so basically let's go into uh text so text you have some very nice now this is where i think some design stuff can happen that's really nice you can have like layouts pre-made layouts for text these are satisfactory. But again, the thing about this is that unlike Cap Canva, not Cap but haha, unlike Canva, the unfortunate thing is that you can't really like press a button and say, I just want to see the free stuff. Like everything's kind of mixed together. So if you're doing a free account, that's kind of not a plus um, because you're just going to have to kind of dodge through things. 
Um, well, actually, the same goes for Canva, now that I think about it. Uh, never mind. But there's a free way to sort through the templates, whereas I don't think the templates over here... Uh, yeah, there's no, like, free button or, you know, to sort by, so that's the downside of um, Adobe Express. So basically, let's look at text. Yep. So let's look at elements. Elements is a big one over here. And uh, basically, what elements does is you can use your different, use your different textures, overlays, um, and just overlay them onto your image. You could add a really nice brush stroke. Um, so I'm going to add this and uh, let me go back to the regular cursor. So I'm going to add this and I'm going to put this behind. So what you can do to move a range of layers, you could either do it on the right hand side and drag it down, which is really nice. Um, so I could do that or I can right click. And then when you right click, some really nice menu stuff goes on so I can send to back. Uh, so yeah, basically this is like a nice kind of kind of thing. And then, yeah, you can add all kinds of cool elements, frames, illustrations. This is not making any sense, but I think you get the picture. Get it? Because it's a picture. That's not a joke. Um, okay. So then when you click on an image, well, actually, first I'm going to finish going through this sidebar over here on the left. Uh, there's elements. Okay. Cool beans, hot rice. Then we have grid. So you can create collages. That's kind of a nice feature. I don't use it very often. Um, brands is really cool uh, because you can create a brand and save it and be like, okay, this is my color palette. These are my images, my logos, my templates. It's just a very, very nice way to stay organized. And uh, I think Canva has something like this too, but we'll explore that later on. Then we have a whole bunch of gorgeous add-ons. Now add-ons is always my favorite part, like the apps kind of stuff. So we have, we have way too many to look through entirely, but oh, more are coming soon either. That's pretty cool. Okay, but um, so motives create striking patterns and shapes or images. So these these are available in the free version as well, uh, which is really super cool. Print your own labels, uh, add some stickers to your design. Oh, dang. Okay, um, pixels, voiceover, AI. Hmm, a little weird, but they're. There's that. Free stock search. Now that's very important and helpful. Um, 3D libraries. Okay. Yeah. So most of these should be free when you use them or whatever and integrate Google photos. That's helpful. So there's a bunch of really cool things like this. 500 free stickers. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm taking advantage of these. Now I'm learning new things. Okay. Hundreds of maps and map graphics. Okay. This is where Adobe really shines is the add-ons. Um, powerful 3D library. Yeah but Canva shines really nicely with the add-on too. Another area where Adobe Express shines really nicely is the image editing kind of features. So Canva does not do cutouts for free. And that kind of, to me, like I'm not thrilled with that. It doesn't like remove background for free, which I feel is a very basic feature and would be really nice to have. It's a bit of an inconvenience, but what I usually do is I go to Adobe Express first, cut out my images, and then go back to Canva and basically do that. So why don't we take a look-see over here? So, okay, I'm just going to get rid of these for now because they're distracting me and I don't... The flowers look kind of itchy. Um, so we have these shoes right here, the shoesles. And so what I'm going to do is I can remove the background. Uh, well, the background is already removed, but basically what it would do is if there's anything in the background, it would isolate the shoes. And it does a fantastic job of this. It's a very clean job, I suggest. Then there's erase, where you can erase only certain parts of the image, either with quick selection or circle brush. So circle brush is really useful because basically what you can do with it is you can just make sure, you know, well, this is quick selection. So it's more like smart selection or it's select shapes. Uh, I'm just command Zing it to undo it. But circle brush just deletes the area you paint over, which is helpful for more detailed jobs or specifics when it just selects things you don't want it to select. You can change the hardness, opacity. So it's a, again, very similar to Photoshop, just, you know, online. Then you can restore anything you erase. You can bring it back to life, which is nice. So if I erase this, I could restore, restore, restore. It's good. So then you can also invert that. So I press done there and then you can have generative fill. So um, continue. Okay. So generative fill is if you watch this, I'm going to say all right, so I want to put flowers. A bouquet of flowers. I don't know if we watched Keeping Up Appearances, but Hyacinth's bouquet, Hyacinth's bouquet, that was her name. She's like this arrogant, older 
um, kind of woman who was just kind of like, you know, oh, you know, she's like very arrogant and she always tried to make herself sound really wealthy and above everybody else. It was pretty funny. It was on BBC. Anyway, so bouquet of flowers. I'm going to hit generate. And uh, let's see, generate. Hmm. Okay, now it's generating. So let's see what happens. Told it I wanted a bouquet. Okay, so it gave me something really creative, which was some really nice flowers and a shoe. And it looks really cute, and I liked it, so I kept it. And so that's generative fill. Really fun. Really cool. I don't know how much the free version gets, but this is awesome nonetheless. And then you have, uh, we move back and I did that. There's, oh yeah, before you download it as a transparent PNG, you always want to make sure you go to background color and hit, like, the transparency layer. Because then that way, when you download it and you see the checkers, it's going to be transparent, which is a huge help. Um, and then what we have, you know, now we have an original asset that we created. Um, but we're not done yet. Let's take a look at effects. So what's really cool about effects is you can change the color to anything. So if you go to custom, uh, I just hit the You can change the color of any image to anything, which is extremely helpful, especially for like illustrations and just changing selections and selecting parts, parts of it, or whatever. So, okay, I think I want my shoes this time to be, uh, I don't know. I, I want the original color. I'm not going to change the color. Okay, so then we have adjustments, and again, that's really helpful. You get down to the shadows, highlights. Ooh, that looks nice, okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep it like this, I think. Yeah, ooh. Okay, and so then we have blur and sharpen. That's also very helpful. Uh, sharpen is, does not use any AI sharpening. It's just regular sharpen. Then we have, lastly, animation. There's not a ton of options here, in my opinion, but if I go to, say, looping, I can just make it, like, see how a timeline showed up? Uh, basically, uh, yeah, basically it's, but no thank you, I don't want any wiggle on my, on my stuff. How do I delete this? No. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, well, I think that's about, that's about it. Oh yeah, blending, you can blend in a couple of different modes, similar to Photoshop, depending. It, basically what blending does is it chooses a couple of different colors, um, or things light and dark basically it blends it in interesting ways to make it look more realistic but anyway opacity of course and yeah so this one more thing i want to check out in adobe express one more thing i would like to check out in adobe express is the quick actions area so, if I go to the main homepage, I just click on here whenever I'm anywhere, I just click here to go home. So I can scroll down and I can go to um, Quick Actions, which is right where am I? Oh, sorry, Suggested Quick Actions, View All. And so what you do is you get a whole bunch of really nice quick features for different things. So you can just on one click, you know, oh, I just need a background removal and a little nice handy window pops up without it being a whole project. You get to download your file. Um, that's kind of what quick actions do. So it's very handy. Uh, generate. And one quick action that I want to explore with you is the um, text effects. So text effects. Basically what text effects done is you have options on the left. You can go balloon, diamond glitter, gold drip, and it will turn your text into any one of those um, using some commands and whatever. And it's just a really nice way to get really creative. These features were now recently, yesterday, I think, brought to mobile apps. So you can now do all the AI features on the go remotely, which is going to be amazing for just content creation. So if I select Gold Drip, um, yeah, you'll see it coming on. I'm lagging a little bit in screen recording because it takes up some takes up some power on the computer. But yeah, look at this. This is actually really neat. Like, if you, if you look at, it's nice, you know what I mean? You could select your favorite version and it will make it, ooh, gold dripping. That's gross, but cool. Hmm, I like this. Okay. Hmm. 
So I'm on the home page of Canva right now, and it's a very nice layout. Um, there is my recent designs at the bottom. There is, you know, a whole bunch of nice, whole bunch of nice stuff. So then what we have here on the left is we have templates. So, but what I like to do to access the templates is I search. So say if I want, um, I, I'm just gonna put down ice cream as the type of template theme that I want. And so right now we get a bunch of features, except some of them have the crown on it, like Express does, which means it's for pro, which is paid. So I'll go to all filters, this button right over here. Then I will scroll down and see this button free. Then when you click that and hit apply, it's just going to show you the free options, which actually took me a little while to find. Um, so you get all these beautiful, and how many? Oh yeah, did I mention there's 30,000? free ice cream related templates on Canva. Well, if I didn't mention that yet, I am mentioning it now. Basically, it is just beautiful. Look at how beautiful and professional these designs are. You can take any one of them and edit them to your own liking. It is really quite wonderful. So, you can also add stars for your templates. So basically, like if you like something, you can just save it to your favorites and then you can access your favorites over here where it says starred, which is really helpful. So right now, let's get into the layout. We have our beautiful area right on the left here, which is similar to Adobe Express. Uh, we have elements, and that has graphic shapes, stickers, a bunch of neat stuff. Oh, and frames, which basically crops a image to a frame of your liking, and it just, it's a nice cropping tool. Great for mockups, too. There's some mockups here for free. Really nice. A lot of really gorgeous elements over here. There are some beautiful text options, you know, you get the pro, but you can't, there's no option to avoid that, so the pro, like, Express is mixed in with the non-pro, uh, but a lot of really beautiful ones that are not pro. Um, really nice, you just click it, and you just drag it in. And so if I go over to here, that's brand, but that's for pro, where you can just add, you know, branding, stuff that makes sense in those categories. We have uploads which stores the media that you upload yourself. You can draw, then we have projects. Projects is, you know, projects. Then apps. Now this is where it really, really shines. Like, I'm not too thrilled about like the photo editing capabilities. Okay, these are cool because you can change the color of each one of these. Those are like those kinds of graphics, which is cool. But I'm not thrilled with like the photo kind of capabilities because it's just basically a bit, uh, it's a bit, there's not a ton of features and I feel like it might have gotten more rigid. But let's take a quick look at the apps, they're amazing. So the apps on the left over here are the ones that I I put down as my favorites, and so basically I can access them whenever I want, just like another tool in my toolbar. Okay, we're not going to have time to try out the apps because basically we have a limited routine, we're doing this in 20 minutes, getting the idea. But some of my favorites, let's talk about that, are I love, absolutely love, um, that you can take photographs from your Instagram directly within the app and import them into Cam Canva. And it's just really nice. Uh, you can import it from Facebook. You can import it, you know, you can create an issue uh, online magazine. Really nice. So Typecraft is amazing because you can type anything and then warp it and make it bendy and just make it look really cool and professional. I did that for my newsletter. It's really cool. Free stock images directly built into your Canva workflow. I mean, what can be better than that? We have our gradients generator right over here, very custom. Now we have our gorgeous AI powered apps right over here, um, which is emoji creator. You can create custom emojis. I mean, that's insane. And yeah, just a ton of really amazing, I mean, you know, transform text. Uh, hyper realistic images you can like you know I, i'm going to go through these more in another video but basically you can create customized qr codes in the shape of images you can do product studio beautiful backgrounds for your products reimagine with ai these are free by the way amazing upscaling the image now that's like insanely cool highly recommend it so that was an overview of Canva versus Adobe Express, and I hope that you found some value in it and were able to see what worked, what didn't work, what would work personally for you, and I hope you have an awesome day.